Dr. Lisa and the ARC wildlife team are swinging into action as those unending mystery boxes turn up with injured wildlife, all requiring the team's urgent attention. But making a difference in the lives of animals is what Holistic Vets and ARC are all about. The day is in full throttle already, and there appears to be some form of dog conference going on in reception. In between the manic mayhem of the day, and on a lighter note, we catch Emma, the queen of cat communication, in deep discussions with Pisa, the cat, who has become quite the celebrity around this place. Okay, so Pisa has just let Emma know the next patient's arrived. But between tending to sick and injured animals all day and Dr. Lisa seldomly getting the chance to take a break, we catch her finally downing some lunch straight from the saucepan in the space of about 30 seconds, just to keep her strength up as the next patient arrives. Hawks are such majestic creatures and can live up to 30 years in the wild and 60 years in captivity. But what happens when one comes in with a broken wing? Can it be cared for and eventually rehabilitated back into the wild? Lisa checks the hawk over. Now, for some interesting hawk facts you may not have known. Hawks can see up to eight times better than humans and hawks can see in colour. Hawks are able to see a rabbit at a distance of two miles. The next day after eating, Hawks cough up a pallet that contains only the fur or feathers of the animal that they ate. Awesome! Dr. Lisa is about to get down on the farm to see a sick calf a sheep having problems, a stallion who keeps getting stressed when the mares come in season, and a miniature horse who enjoys Dr. Lisa's magic touch. And what is up with this deer? You'll come back now, you hear? Today, she's been called out to Katrina's farm, where a calf, sheep, horse, and dog are all needing her help. Hey kids, hey, how hey, you doing? Hey, good, how's it going? Good, good. good. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Deaf's not right. I'm going deaf, so oh, we don't sweet. hear much anymore. Dr. Lisa greets Cat and her dog, named Girl. At 16 years of age and having had a rough life, Girl has been under Cat's care for the last two years and is still thriving as a working dog. Now over to the horses, Tommy and Gypsy. Tommy is quite the stud but at this time of year, he becomes very stressed with all the mares around. Rightly so. An injection of vitamin B helps to keep him content and happy. Gypsy has been under the weather for a few days with a swollen face and a sore leg. With some treatment, she should start to feel better and be back to her normal self in a few days. Lily the sheep is a good old girl and a few weeks ago was looking poorly but has improved after a course of some great nutritional supplements. Kat is concerned that she may have arthritis and wonders if there's more that can be done to help her. And is her movement pretty stiff? It's really like the front feet when she's walking. She's yeah. actually crossing them over like that oh, when she walks. Okay, cool. So let's just have a closer look up there. Sorry, girl. Girl. Next, Dr. Lisa heads out to a Mokoroa for one more visit with Rebel, the miniature horse, and a family of animals who would be unlikely paddock mates. But this place goes to show that all species can live in harmony. As you can see, our rebel is loving this treatment. Dr. Lisa explains more about what she's doing for our rebel friend. So rebel's had a sore back for a little while, 
and Tracy's been figuring out a number of ways to try and help him, some of which have made some difference, but uh, he hasn't come all together right. So part of what I've tried to do through my career is figure out how I can make a difference to animals where the usual tools just aren't doing a good enough job. And one of these therapies is called NIS, or the Neurological Integration System. And I use this and it kind of looks a little bit flaky, but um, it's amazing, the animals respond beautifully. And the nice thing with animals is they don't really do the placebo effect. So we get some fabulous results. This has been a busy day for our Dr. Doodle, Dr. Lisa, but she's still smiling and soldiering on as always, doing her best to make a difference to the lives of animals.